Kojiko News, brought to you by Century 21 Blue Sky Region Realty Brokerage. Realty Insight, brought to you by North Bay Property Shop, a member of Century 21 Blue Sky Region Realty Team. On this Monday, we're back inside the Your TV studio. Welcome back to Kojiko News. We're here with Leanne Noel from Century 21. Yes. Back again for Realty Insight. We're happy to have you. Oh, happy to be here always, Clark. Thank you. We're talking about the laundry room. Certainly, yeah. the first thing that comes to mind is cleaning your clothes. Of course. But there's more to the room than just that. Well, that's it. And usually when you think of cleaning clothes, you want to shut that door, let it be ignored until that time comes. But now it's really turning into a functional space that can be beautiful and also efficient. Uh, so let's just not think of it as an afterthought anymore of the home. So we have it broken down to functionality, small space, future yes. design and consideration. So we're going to yes. start one at a time. Please. In the functionality piece, of course, cleaning clothes, number one, what mm -hmm. else is involved? So I want to talk about sorting. When you're thinking about your space, are you separating your clothes, colors, whites? How, what does that look? Do you have shelves or cubbies for those laundry baskets? Storage, this can be another great space where you can store seasonal decor. If you're into arts and crafts, having that again tucked away. Obviously some drying has to get done there if you've got some delicates or those that need to be hand washed. So maybe you want to install a line. I know for myself I have uh, a fold away um, shelving unit that I pop out, mm -hmm. comes out, I put my delicates on there, good to go. Um, so that's nice to have with a drying rack if you need it again to store it or even you can see some built-ins that pop out very cool folding and ironing uh, does that space allow a countertop maybe over your washer dryer that's at a comfortable height for folding uh, and or ironing so think of those options one thing that can be forgotten is lighting in your laundry room if we're looking for stains any tears or rips in your in your clothes and those delicates so think about when you're designing that room what that lighting can entail has that changed over the years because we look at this photo nice natural daylight coming in absolutely uh, however when i was a kid growing up laundry room was always in the basement it's a dark room windowless maybe one small window exactly H has that changed it, it definitely has changed again families are very much on the go right now they want something potentially where you do walk in Laundry's right there. You've got a great mudroom where you can store your items that are used every day. So yes, we are seeing that. Point number two, small space. What do you yes. in intend by having that brought up? So I have a small space. My, I don't really have a laundry room. It's a laundry closet. So what I did is I had, which our viewers know, the lovely Catherine Stefanizzi came over. She did some amazing shelving for me where I could put big baskets. I've got my side-by-side -side units. Uh, again, easy for folding, sorting, all of that stuff is there, but it's tucked away in a closet. It's a very small space. If you are working with a condo or an apartment or a smaller home, go vertical. Think of stacking your washer dryer. Pedestals are also really great. They can add storage. And again, it lifts your washer and dryer to make, make it easier on people. Um, and then think about a door, maybe that's a pocket door or a barn door that slides across, again, to tuck it away. But when you do open it up, everything is there for you. Now, I saw an advertisement that the laundry machine is the dryer. Is that the jury still Let's out on that? Let's talk about the design in the future and where that's headed. And yes, we do see those combination washer dryers. I know that I have some investors that have some great rental units and that's what they use uh, for those tenants and it, it really does work beautifully. Um, technology we all know is advancing every single day so manufacturers are looking how to make our lives easier, more productive and efficient. So again, Clark, it's not an afterthought of the home. This is, can really be a place that serves the family in an efficient, productive, easy way. It's beginning to feel much like fall with the temperatures uh, <laughs> dipping down quite low. Yes. And that will be the topic of discussion yes. in two weeks time, fall and the home. Yeah, let's talk about ways to prepare your home for that autumn season, uh, your garden, maybe a cozy outdoor living space and uh, maybe even a deep clean. All right, Leanne Noel, Century 21, thanks for coming in. We're all about the laundry today <laughs> and I think we've got it all straightened out. If not, reach out, my door's always open.